back from the break, everybody. We are currently on board the Voyager, which is the vessel of Johnny Walker. And right about now, we are going to find out why Johnny Walker's vessel decided to stop right here in Aruba because they are only stopping in four islands and we are one of them. And also for those who drink or do not drink whiskey, we have all the tips for you from the ambassador, Tom Jones. The Johnny Walker vessel, the Voyager, docked on the island. It first set sail in 2012, touring Asia and many parts of the world. You may be asking, what does a sailboat have to do with whiskey? The global ambassador of Johnny Walker, Tom Jones, explains. When John first opened a store, which was a grocery store, um, he was importing goods from around the world. Teas, herbs, spices. Teas in particular, we think, inspired him, the blending of tea in particular, to blend whiskey. But also, although whiskey is made in Scotland, during the early 1800s, most of it was transported around Scotland by sea much safer than by land. It was much safer on water than on land due to the smuggling. The Voyager, in a sense, is a symbol to the initial growing success of the whiskey. John Walker was able to improve the taste of his product by importing ingredients by the sea. More importantly, he was able to export internationally by boats, vessels and sails. I think there are four key issues that, sorry, things that I think about when I think about Johnny Walker. One is the liquid, right? We have great tasting, big, bold flavors. We have excellence in blending over 193 years through six generations of master blender, including the first three from the family. We're renowned for iconic design. Everyone knows that, either the striding line or the square bottle, the angled label. But also our commitment to progress, to constantly keep moving forward. And I think this, our Voyager, actually brings all of those together, all of those things, and celebrates them in many different ways. The Voyager is only making four island stops. Aruba is part of the itinerary due to the Caribbean's role in the history of Johnny Walker whiskey. Well, I mean, it's, a, it's an important part of the region for us. Um, it's a wonderful island, and I think it has a wonderful history of being a great partner for us. We've been in the region since the mid to late 1800s, and although I can't specifically say that what part Aruba or other islands played in that era, we certainly know since the, the modern era, the, 19th, sorry, the 20th century, that Aruba was a key part. But it would be difficult to imagine that if we, for example, knew our whiskies were in the mainland of America by the 1880s, we know they're in this region and we know that Aruba has been significant throughout that era. So it was very important for us to come here. There you have it. The press members over the weekend were able to learn a lot more about John Walker and Sons right here on the vessel itself since we were the second stop on their route. And that is our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Signing off right here on board, I'm Yen Tulu. And be sure to tune back in tomorrow night at 7.15 p.m. right here on Channel 15 ATV.